2018 Honda Odyssey 9 speed automatic. Surrendering one rigging does little to reduce this present van's useful interest. What it is, Honda's Odyssey is a standout 2018 Honda Odyssey 9 speed automatic. Surrendering one rigging does little to reduce this present van's usefu. Common sense and family amicability remain its key principles, alongside an attention on driving happiness that is uncommon among vehicles with this much individuals and load conveying capacity. It has hardened rivalry, in any case, as Chrysler's most recent minivan, the phenomenal Pacifica, which barely outscored the Honda to assert triumph in our most recent correlation test. We were as yet anxious to invest more energy with the new Odyssey, and we're a great many charming miles into a 40,000-mile long-haul trial of a best trim 2018 Odyssey Elite. Why we tested it and how it performed, having had a lot of involvement with the Honda van's best trim level, which accompanies a Honda fabricated 10-speed programmed transmission matched with a 280 HP 3.5-litre V6, we were interested to perceive what the Odyssey S other transmission, a ZF9 speed program, could do, especially since Honda has guaranteed to enhance this current transmission's day of work smoothness over the not as much as amazing conduct we've encountered in the Honda Pilot, where it additionally does obligation in a few trims. In the Odyssey, the 9-speed mates with a similar V6 on the Lux, X, and XL models, the remainder of which was the subject of this audit. For reasons unknown, losing one apparatus had little effect at the test track. The 126-pound lighter Odyssey XL surrendered just 0.1 second in the 0 to 60 mph dash and precisely coordinated the 10-speed's quarter-mile time and trap speed of 15.2 seconds at 95 miles per hour. More so than accelerative execution, the 10 speed's principal explanation behind being is to enhance efficiency, and on that measure it succeeds to some degree. The tried 9 speed Odyssey fell 3 mpg shy of the 10 speed's 30 mpg result in our 75 mph parkway efficiency test, in spite of the fact that the XL's general normal of 20 mpg in our grasp was 1 mpg higher than the Elite's. EPA evaluations for the two transmissions are indistinguishable, be that as it may. What we like, Honda engineers have followed through on the promise to enhance the ZF9 speed program Ed's conduct contrasted another Honda and Acura applications. In the Odyssey, it's significantly more acculturated than it was in our long-haul 2016 Honda Pilot, where it faltered and executed unforgiving movements in an assortment of part-throttle circumstances. It's still not exactly as sharp as the 10-speed, which shows snappier gear changes and is more anxious to downshift, yet the 9-speed is smooth and completes a sufficient activity dealing with the motor's energy. The XL additionally exhibits an indistinguishable fulfilling progression from different odysseys we've driven, with all-around weighted and precise guiding, a controlled ride, and shockingly sharp reactions. What we don't like, the drawback of the Odyssey S responsive case tuning is a slight forfeit in traveler comfort, as it's not as cosseting as the Pacifica. Some may lean toward the extravagant way the Chrysler drenches up knocks to the Honda's firmer, more keen ride quality. A decent measure of street commotion on the interstate likewise is detectable despite the fact that not precisely irksome. Additionally, despite the fact that the Odyssey is an exceptionally handy and extensive transport for individuals and stuff, as are most minivans, it surrenders a touch of flexibility to the Pacifica, generally on account of its second push seats. While the Chrysler's stow-and-go setup enables you to effortlessly hide the second push chief's seats into a canister underneath the floor, the Odyssey S seats must be physically expelled from the auto, and they measure a powerful 68 pounds each.